Hello, this is Jeff with the Click Team, and today we're looking at a Flappy Bird type of game. And this is based off the video that Powerful Fusion uploaded, where he built the game in about three minutes, and it was quite amazing, I thought. A few people commented that it was a little bit too fast, and they couldn't follow the steps. So let's redo that a little bit slower, and we can see what's going on, because this really has some pretty cool techniques that I haven't really seen before. So I'm just going to do a new application and I'm going to open up frame number one. And the first thing I like to do is change the color of the frame because for some reason I just don't like staring at the white frame. And let's insert an object, an active object. And this is going to be our bird. So we want to give our bird a bouncing ball movement. And this movement, I thought, was pretty darn cool how he did this. Oop, did I get that 8? Yes. All right, and we also need to go over to the automatic rotations. And that's kind of the secret of this movement that he created. Okay, so let's go into our event editor. And the first thing we're doing is we're going to do an always. And we're going to pin the X coordinate of our active object to, I'm going to pick 145. All right, so our X is always going to be 145. Now, we want to have the bird or the active object bounce up. And so how he did this was he did an every, and then it was 5 hundredths of a second. And then he also added a second condition to this, and he checked the direction. Checked all of these over here. And then, under his active object, he set the direction to the current direction minus one, so it would loop through all of those automatically. And then we wanted to have a condition here for when he pressed the key that it would set the direction back up, so it would jump up. So what's this, what this is doing is it's pinned to the X, so it's never going to move on the X coordinate. It's only going to move up and down on the Y. It's going to rotate through these directions before it starts to fall again and then it's going to be set back up when you press the spacebar. Alright, so let's run this application and see if we did it right so far. And when I press space, you see that we get our bird to jump up. That's a pretty cool way to kind of do a little bit of physics without even using the new physics objects in Fusion 2.5. All right, so we have our bird basically created. So let's create our obstacles and another active object on here. And I'm going to make it kind of like a dark red color. Okay. And then he made this, went over to its size and it made it 1280. Then we go back into it, and we want to make sure these are centered. All right, and we kind of want to put this guy in the center. Go back in here and see where if we can find our hot spot and action point, which is right about there. Draw a little transparent area kind of in the middle here. The bigger you make that, I guess, would be the easier the bird can fly through. So we have a spot just about like that. Now we're going to have our active object move across the screen. So we're going to give it, it also has a bouncing ball movement. And it's just going over that way. And when it gets over here to x0 or less, then we want to set it back over here to this X coordinate. So that's just a simple test of position, compare X position to a value, and it's lower or equal to zero. 
And over here we want to set its position, set its x coordinate to the frame width. So that's just going to set it all the way back over to the other side. And then we're going to make the y position change a little bit. And we're going to go set y coordinate to random. And we'll grab the frame height. Okay, so let's see how this works so far. And you can see that that transparent area is moving. Oop, that one's going to be hard to make, isn't it? Alright, so the next thing we need to do is basically find out when our bird collides with the obstacle and also have a little bit of a score. So let's insert another object and do the score. Games and score. Throw that guy on there. And we're just going to add to the score. Every five tenths of a second we're going to add one to the score. And when the bird collides with another object, the obstacle, we are going to restart the current frame and we'll set the score back to zero. So let's run our application now. You can see we're generating some score there. We're jumping through the obstacles. And when I hit one, it reset the frame. So that's basically how he did this game. And as you can see that you could probably do this pretty darn fast once you had all the steps down. Thanks a lot. Have fun with Fusion 2.5.